Oh, hey folks. Hope these are all well. I'm just out in this glorious afternoon. Yup, the word glorious is back again. It's still freezing right enough when you're on a bike. Well, without heated grips on that is. So, I've seen quite a lot of you had done the Goofy Bastard Challenge. Brilliant. This is a great challenge. So, hat off to you mate. Cheers for giving us all the opportunity. I eventually got there and done one in the end myself. So, I put the idea in my head of... I want to announce a challenge. So here we go. Who even are you? Eh? Who even are you? So that's the challenge. <laughs> uh, just tell us about yourself. What you're into, other than motorcycles what your hobbies, pastimes are. I've already caught on, a lot of these are into Pornhub. So, I'll give these a bit of advice there. Yous will never complete it, lads. Yous will never complete it. And also, there's a, a rumour going around that you can actually go blind from too much of it. Well, so I've heard, as I said. Nothing wrong with my eyesight. So, tell us about yourself. Are you married? You got kids? You've been married more than once? Once bitten, twice shy? <laughs> Who knows? I think a lot of people would be interested to know about you. And you, and you, and you, and you, and you. All of you. So take part if you want, or sit back and enjoy everybody else doing it, hopefully. But it'd be nice to see some input. So I suppose I better have a crack at it myself. I'm John Diehard McLean, or that's my channel name at least. Although I'm actually called John McLean. I uh, currently live in Blantyre, South Lanarkshire, which is just outside Glasgow, here in Scotland. I've been staying in Blantyre since 2001, when I bought a house with my girlfriend, who is now my wife, for her sins. <laughs> and. Uh, currently, st uh, previously stayed in Blantyre. Uh, grew up in this house. From 1978 until nine years old, in 1987. Where my mum and dad bought a bigger house. And we moved to this house. Uh, this is Addington. Which is also safe, and that's where my dad's motorcycle obsession began. Although he's been a rider all his all his days, really, since the army. And he was born in 1937, so I don't know if that was the first or the second world war. <laughs> uh, second world war. I'm joking. He's not that old, although he is. So, me and my wife Donna, we have a son called Jack. Coincidentally, John McLean from the Die Hard movies. Son is called Jack as well. Who knew? It was just coincidence, honestly. So, he's Die Hard Junior. I'm just Die Hard. And my dad's Die Hard Senior. Because he's John McLean as well, like me. So, hobbies and pastimes, 
Oh, currently I do quite a bit of video editing, video cutting, videography, filmography, photography. Mostly down to this little MT that's between my legs. And why are you taking forever to turn, you dish ball? Uh, so since I started riding and moto vlogging, I got more into my YouTube again. I'd sort of gave it a time out for a bit from my fish. <laughs> uh, so I've still got one tank and a pond. That's enough. Compared to 11 tanks and a pond, which was a bit too much, shall we say. So, something interesting about myself. I was 10 years old. My mate David Logan was over at my house uh, playing some Super Nintendo. And I needed to go to the toilet. So I went upstairs to the toilet because it was a sit down one to put it politely and I continued to do the toilet but while doing this I noticed my dad's gun bag was lying on the, the floor of the bathroom so I pulled it over towards me and had a rummage and there was a layer of gunpowder on the bottom of the bag I could feel like the grains of it so I scraped it all together into a little pile, maybe about an inch in diameter. And there was a lighter. A pipe lighter. My dad smoked the pipe all these years. No, it's not a gay thing. I mean the type that you smoke with a lighter and tobacco. And... Sidetrack there. <laughs> I decided to light the little pile of gunpowder and I did expecting a little flash my dad had showed me it before uh, I guess there was no child services back then or I'd probably been taken off them so he showed me how to do, <laughs> how to do it and it wasn't like it was in the cartoons it wouldn't like blow up had to be compacted, which it wasn't because it was loose. So I sparked this lighter and the little pile of gunpowder, expecting a little flash, as I said. And it turns out the whole layer, the whole bottom of the bag was covered in gunpowder. So it was quite a big flash as it happened. And me sitting on the toilet at the time, uh, got the brunt of it, since the inside of my calves were what got burnt. So my legs are still a bit paler on the insides than the rest of me, but not much. And I'm Scottish obviously, so my pale blue off-white colour. Anyway, so no biggie. But I had to go and get dressings changed at the hospital on a, a daily basis for five or six weeks, I reckon. And then the next time I went on holiday, which wasn't, it was only a couple of, maybe four or five months afterwards, I had to wear joggy bottoms the whole time I was on holiday, which wasn't very pleasant in Costa del Sol in Spain. But it was my own fault for being an idiot. So there you go. <laughs> So here we go, on to the boring stuff. Rules for the challenge. Nothing major. The no cuts thing is quite a hard one. <laughs> so I wouldn't give that give you that one. <laughs> uh, as many cuts or as few cuts as you require. So keep the vid around 5 to 15 minutes long. And add hashtag diehard who even are you?
in the title or as a tag or both and we'll find them or I'll find them hopefully other people find them as well because that's what it's all about I just thought it'd be a good way just to get to know each other a little bit better <laughs> I didn't want to soak that cyclist there That would have been terrible Well, terrible for him So peace out folks Take it easy Cheers for watching And I look forward to see some uploads Peace out